Hey, this is Ben from Real Mac Software. I just want to show you quickly a few different ways that you can preview your RapidWeaver projects in different devices. So in front of me here, I've got a project that I'm working on at the moment, and I'm in preview mode in RapidWeaver. Now the easiest way to preview your website and see how it works in a responsive way is to simply go to the edges of RapidWeaver's preview and you can drag the preview down so that you get a smaller viewport. So this is the most simple way to do a responsive design preview inside of RapidWeaver. And as you can see here, as I drag the, the uh, preview area wider or smaller, you'll see that the pixel number updates to the right of my cursor there. So if you want to see what it looks at 660, you can do that, or you can go all the way down to 320 or you can just drag it to any point and you'll see the pixel number updates as I said so let's say 1170 for example and then we can scroll through our site and see how it looks okay the other way to do it inside of RapidWeaver is if you actually click on the preview button up here again you'll get some uh, defaults or some presets so for example here iPad landscape that will make the preview viewport the width of an iPad. And you've got full width or iPhone as well, like so. So we can go back to full width and RapidWe will update and we get the full desktop experience of the website. So those are the built-in ways to do a responsive preview inside of RapidWeaver. The other ways to do it is if you preview your website inside of a web browser. So to do this, you can go up to File, and then you can do Preview Page In, and my default browser is Safari. Yours might be Chrome or Firefox. And this is a feature that RapidWeaver 7 calls Live External Preview. So you can get to that by pressing Command-P on your keyboard as well. So we'll do that, and that will open up our website inside of Safari. If I just make this browser width, or the browser window full width, what we can do in Safari is use the responsive design mode. Now to get to that, you need to go to the develop menu. And if you don't have the develop menu up here, you can go to Safari preferences. And on the advanced tab, go and show develop menu in, deve sorry, show develop menu in the menu bar. So once you've enabled that, you can go to the develop menu here and enter responsive design mode or command option R. That will put you into this special mode of Safari where you have some Apple devices preset across here as well as some larger desktops. Now Safari is obviously made by Apple so it's very Apple centric um, but the best thing about the responsive design mode in Safari is that if you go onto it to an iPad Pro for example you can click once and you get the standard iPad Pro viewport. If you click again you'll see that you get it in the windowed, or I think they call it picture-in-picture picture mode. So you can see there we're taking up just one third of an iPad Pro. So you can see what your website would look like when someone is multitasking on an iPad Pro. If you click again, you get the two thirds view. And if you keep clicking, you'll get all the different modes that are available inside of an iPad. So this is half, and then we'll get the other orientation there. And you can do the same on the iPad Air and the iPad Mini. And you can also do that on an iPhone 6 Plus. So if you click it once, you get the standard portrait mode. If you click it again, you get the um, horizontal mode there, or landscape mode. And you can scroll through the site as normal. So you can do that for all of the devices here. And then you can go to a desktop view, so 800 by 600 or the 1920 by 1080. So these are all the defaults that um, Safari give you. You can also drag the handles here to make a custom viewport width and height. So if you want to do it like that, for example, you can, and then you'll see how your site looks at this viewport here. So I've got it 894 by 550. The other feature to mention in Safari's responsive design mode is that you can spoof the user agent. So if you wanted to test whether something is being displayed or you have some content that you're hiding or showing on different devices, 
you could spoof that you're on an iPhone, for example, in iOS 10. Then, as I say, if you had something that was only supposed to show on an iPhone, you can test whether that is being displayed on the iPhone here. Okay, so that is Safari's responsive design mode. If we quit out of there, come back to Rapid Weaver, we can also preview our project in other browsers. So you can preview page in, so that's command option P, and that will give you a list of all of the browsers you have installed. So I've got Safari, Chrome, and Firefox. If I open the site up in Chrome, we can also um, open up Chrome's developer tools. To do that in Chrome, you just need to right click anywhere on the page and choose inspect. You can then click on this button here and that will toggle you in and out of responsive design mode, or I think they call it, yeah, the device toolbar they call it. And that is on Command Shift M. Then up here you'll get a set of predefined devices. So it's not quite as nice as the Safari responsive design mode, but they do give you some of the Google um, or the Android phones here as well, and you can edit those presets there. So we could choose, for example, an iPhone 6 Plus, and then we'll get the viewport for that, and we can scroll through and see if our site's working nicely. We can click here to change the orientation, and you can change the zoom mode to whatever you want it to be. So if you want it a bit larger, you can do that like so. And again, you can just choose the different devices, and the responsive design mode will update automatically. You can also enter a custom one, or you can edit them as I mentioned there, but I think that'll do it for now. Okay, the final one is, if you have uh, Firefox installed, you can essentially do the same thing there. If we just open up our site in Firefox. I don't want to use that as the default. Um, again, in Firefox, all you need to do is right click and inspect an element on the page. That will bring up the developer tools inside of Firefox. And then you need to go into, I think they call it device mode, or no, they call it responsive design mode as well. So click this button here. And again, similar to Chrome, you'll have some presets here. They're not labeled as anything, they just have the pixel widths. Uh, so we could go, let's say, 800 by 1280. And again, you can change the orientation like so. And you can drag the handles here to set a custom viewport width. So, as I say, this is really handy because you can go ahead and test your Rapid Weaver built websites in any device locally before you publish it online. So, again, using the custom user agents, you could test whether the content is being displayed or hidden across all of those different devices as well. Okay, so that was just to show you how to test your website locally in different devices. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a comment below and click the subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.